Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday was the winter solstice, as well as a visit from KK. I also got my awesome balloon animal hat. And today, I want to get started on a new public works project. I would like to give Isabel something for her birthday, although it's very belated. And whoa! I have a lot more mail than I thought. Uh, okay, from Snowboy. I got... The Snowman Fridge. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, from Shari. Freakishly tidy Emil, thanks for showing me your place. I was impressed and a little scared by how clean it was. If I, I wonder if my house is too messy. No one's ever dared to complain. Oh, wow. Okay, we were in her house and you remember how freakish it was? No one's ever dared to complain. <laughs> She's so creepy. Egbert! Dear Emil, remember when I had that cold and you brought me medicine? Yeah, I remember it just like it was yesterday. I was kind of loopy, but I definitely remember you looked very caring. Thanks, Emil. See you soon. Aw, okay. Uh, what's next? Biscuit! Man, we have a lot of letters! Dear Emil, thanks for sending me a present. You're real pal. I found this present in last year's catalog. Can you believe they still had one left? See? It's perfect for you. Your pal Biscuit. I gave him the Triforce. I gotta see what he gave me in return. From Molly. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a reply from her. Greetings, Emil. I was feeling a little down, then I got a thought from letter in the mail. It really cheered me up. I want to write letters that cheer people up, too. Sent by Molly. I believe that we got a letter that said that already. Uh, another from Shari! What's up, Emil? You really surprised me to write a letter out of nowhere. I sat here uh, planning to start this letter for you so long that the sun had set. Sorry about the handwriting. Well, Shari, no. What do you mean handwriting? This is very clearly typed. You know, she really is out of touch with reality. Another from Egbert. What is up with this? Thanks for sending me a sending me to the top. Do you think I over I wear it on plaid overalls? One more thing question. Do you what? Okay. He's talking about plaid overalls? Weird. Alright. So we have a lot of mail. Uh, sorry that took so long. I just like to give my animals individual attention like that. Okay. Let's see what we got from Biscuit. I gave him the Triforce. He gave me a samurai shirt. Not bad, I guess. Uh, for curing Egbert, I got a bear costume. I'll wear that because Egbert gave it to me. <laughs> uh, that looks so bad. Okay, Shari, for letting her over to my house. Tower of Pisa? I think that's a Gulliver item. That's unusual that she gave me that. Snowboy! Of course he gave me the snowman fridge. Okay, I'm gonna organize my letters and I will be back in just a moment, because oh boy, I have a lot. And for giving Egbert his dark side shirt, what did we get? A green bar tea. I'll at least look at that, because it can't be much worse than the bear costume that he also gave me. You know, I kind of like that shirt. I'm gonna hang on to that one, because that is really, really nice. And and at the expense of delaying things a little bit further, I'm gonna go put some of these items away real quick. Everything is done, so off to the cafe that we go, because that's what I want to do first. Of course, we gotta go see Brewster each and every day. I want him to become better friends with me, just as Sable did. So, into the roost, and, you know, I, I hope this isn't getting tiring, though, because a lot of you guys really like the fact that we became better friends with Sable over time, and Chester's here, hey! I always get, co I always get the coffee blend. There's so many different flavors, it has to be good. You want to remember little details like that. They will become important for later. Every individual animal has different taste in coffee, and you want to remember those things. Welcome. How can I help you? Uh, I'm good. I think I'll have a coffee in today, even though it would be kind of nice to go out into the snow with a nice warm coffee to keep me warm from the inside. I think I'm going to have it in here today just because I like the atmosphere of the cafe. So here we go. Whoa! What a happy moment. I feel like my entire body is being enveloped by the scent of coffee. And then just awkward silence as Brewster takes the cup back. Thank you. Do you have anything else to say to us? Thanks for always visiting, he says, once again. That's all he has to say. Alright, so we don't get any we don't get much further with Brewster today, but I think we'll get closer to him soon enough. Alright, so 
Very, very first thing I want to do is go see Isabel because two days ago it was her birthday. I didn't remember on her birthday because I record these one day in advance and I thought her birthday was going to be the next day because, you know, I forgot that it was in-game going to be going up on... Y you know what I mean. I shouldn't explain that. You know what I mean. And then yesterday we had the winter solstice, so she was too busy working. So, here we go. Let's talk to her behind the counter first and foremost. Um... Hi, did you need something? I know it's silly, but if you want to talk about Palette, you'll need to talk to me over the counter. Or if you want to flex your marrow muscle, you can sit in the mayor's chair. <laughs> okay, well, it's the first time you've seen that, which is kind of nice. Now, a little detail is you might recall that there are little announcements that are made, and it's in Isabel's voice. There's a little microphone right here with a bit of a sound system. I don't know how she announces these things when she's up at the town square doing stuff, but hey. Now, that public works project that I want to do and Isabel's birthday present are actually the same thing. So what am I gonna be giving Isabel for her birthday? Now first off, I think that this is a good birthday present for Isabel, but at the same time, I probably deserve to be punched for this. <laughs> Isabel, you've been working for me for a month. It's time we put a bathroom near town hall for you. <laughs> yes, I am putting a fire hydrant near town hall so that she can go to the bathroom at work. <laughs> Okay, that's a little that's a little mean-spirited, and it's a little bit dark for Animal Crossing to think of it that way, but... You know, that's kind of one thing that I've noticed, and that's something that I've been meaning to talk about, is that in Animal Crossing, people always insert, like, dark things into it. Like, everyone always says, you know, like, Tom Nook is out to get you and he must be evil. Um, you know, I myself was saying that Rover must be evil and stuff like that. You know, everyone always tries to, like, insert dark things into Animal Crossing, because I guess it's just so happy that it just feels kind of weird to not have anything dark like that in the game. I mean, I guess it's not particularly dark that I'm giving Isabel a fire hydrant, but you know what I mean. People do put little things like that into Animal Crossing that, you know, just don't really fit in. You know, like, everyone kind of has their own little theories like that. Pietro, going fishing, buddy? What are you up to? Pietro, sure feels good to play under the warm sun, huh? Honk honk, I guess at this time of year. Sum up, honk honk, I want to chat. The holidays are coming soon. Time for presents is almost here. I wonder why I'm getting this sudden sense of euphoria. It's got to be Jingle's magic. You know what I really want from Jingle this year? Something that's white. That'd be so cool. Well, I guess the guy who's all colors of the rainbow wants something that is the absence of color. You know, grass is always greener on the other side. That makes a lot of sense. Now... Now that we took care of that, and, and uh, Isabel is kind of the butt of a visual joke, I would like to make her the butt of yet another visual joke, and this one's actually canon. Her name is Isabel. You might notice that when she walks, there's ringing, because she has two little bells tied under her head. You might also notice what her head is shaped like. She quite literally is a bell. <laughs> that, oh, I love that name. Hello, sorry. Speaking of butt of jokes, we're going to talk to you. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think that's enough attention for Isabel for the day. I'm always hearing about fruit and how it goes is how good it is for your skin. What, what? I worry about stuff like that too, you know, even girls, uh, even tough girls can have class. So, uh, can you even bring me a piece of fresh fruit? Um, okay. You know, Shari, I feel the need to kind of suck up to Shari lately just because she's plotting something and I really, really don't want to be the victim of whatever it is she's plotting. Just because I have a feeling that you don't want to cross her because of how out there she is. You know, the really out there strange people that are kind of outcasts, they're the last people you want to cross. Trust me on that. Heck, I was that guy for a while. Let's get her a perfect peach. I know that it's sucking up, but it might be in my best interest to do that for her. Ooh, looks tasty. Here I go. Mmm. I can't get over this perfect peach. It's crazy good. It's like Pop-Tarts. Better than I was expecting. I'm going to give you something great in return. Here. Okay, wallpaper. I don't really know if I have a place for this. A lovely wall. I'm not really sure I want uh, a pink wall full of hearts, but hey, I guess I'll take it. Uh, I'll just smile and nod because I don't want to make her mad. And uh, I want to tell you something that I really, really don't like. All these snowmen here. Absolutely useless now that I don't have my bingo card anymore. You can only get a bingo card when you've built a new snowman. So, I had three snowmen yesterday and didn't get any bingo numbers whatsoever. That is the definition of frustrating, and that is also just... You should be able to talk to them and they'd be like, Oh, you don't have a bingo card. Here you go, because... You can't get rid of the bingo card, you know, like, you can't put it in storage or anything like that, so you couldn't really, like, cheat the system to get tons of bingo cards and reset like that. So, I don't see the issue with just having them give you bingo cards when you talk to them. Why do you have to build one? I don't know. Alright. 
So, I guess if that's it, I think that's all I really want to talk about. Uh, Stinky wants to talk. Hey, what's up? Eye contact. It's essential to a fabulous game of soccer. We already did this. All right. What does he want? I already said, you're in love with me. <laughs> you want me to shoot? You want to assist me? You're really thirsty. You're in love with me. The last time it was like, you love my eyes. I'm gonna answer that, I'm sorry. In love? Well, I mean, I suppose there's always that risk when you're gazing into someone's eyes. But I don't want to hear about that right now. Sheesh, you may not have concentration for soccer. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go do routine type things now. Oh, man! Two gold! Oh, god. Two silver! Ruby, sapphire, emerald. Hey, ruby, sapphire, emerald, that was kind of cool. Oh, I am rolling it. I'm gonna need to use this gold for something, man. I'm all done, and guess what, guys? I have three gold nuggets now. I could reupholster three items to be go solid gold, which would be kind of cool, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to go over and see Cyrus and give him all three of these gold nuggets because he will do something special for us if we do that. Yeah, I have a project for you. Yeah, let's see, what do I want? Give him these gold nuggets, or at least just one of them. Oh, you managed to dig up a gold nugget? Well, I had a ghost, squirt. Bring me about three, three of them and 10,000 bells, I can make you some golden, shiny furniture. Yes, please. All right, squirt, hand over those three gold nuggets then. There we go. So, he will make items from the golden furniture set. There are golden tools, but also in New Leaf, there is a golden furniture set complete with carpet and wallpaper. I don't see anything up there that I really want. Which is really, really cool. What is not cool, however, is that you need three gold nuggets and 10,000 bells to do it. Gold nuggets are rare and not easy to come by. The worst thing of it all is, you don't get to choose what Cyrus makes. And it's not even like the snow people where they will give you the items in a sequence so you don't get doubles. Cyrus just gives you a random item from the set. And believe me, I have spent weeks saving up my gold nuggets, gone over to Cyrus, and yeah, didn't get an item that I needed at all. Anyway, we talked to a bunch of animals today. We uh, set up the new public works project for Isabel. I think I'm going to go through Main Street now and go around the shops as I usually do. Oh, what is this? Makar's Mask. Okay, this uh, I believe this was originally considered exclusively a Nintendo item. You know, you can only get it from like balloon presents, from like, you know, lottery things that would go on. Oh, it's a mask? Oh, I can't wear a hat with it. That's a shame. I wanted to be like, you know, the little walking onion that is Makar. That's a shame. I guess I could put it on for a bit though. Uh, let's see. Samurai helmet. Okay. Now just watch. This is not going to be a helmet. It's just going to be a hat. Let's see. I'm curious if it's actually going to do that. Yes! The mask is a helmet, and the helmet is a hat. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, I'm gonna... What do I want to do? Hmm. I I'm curious. I, I don't know what it is I want. Uh, what could I have together with this? Uh, I'll be a bandage samurai. Yes. Trying to change my look around just because, you know, I, I like changing my look around in Animal Crossing. A lot of people I know will stick, like, with one outfit, though, but I like changing it, like, each and every day just so it feels different to me. There we go. Jingle lamp is in stock! Yet another item for our jingle room. I'll probably need to make it bigger pretty soon, so I'll need to pay off my loan to Mr. Nook fairly soon as well. I keep saying fairly soon, I notice. I'm pretty much all done doing what I, everything I wanted to do. This seems to be a bit of a slow day here in town, not a whole lot going on. So, how about we get to know our animals a little bit better? Hello, Molly. It's so nice that today was feel kind of like sunbathing in the snow. Yeah, you're kind of weird. It's not long until toy day. It's getting harder and harder to wait. Okay, I... Oh, she wants clothing, though, but that's good to know, but... Molly, I want to get to know you. I don't want to hear... Okay, reading a book lately about interior design, I got my creative juices flowing. I want my place to look just as stylish as one of the ones in the book, but I need new furniture. Oh, okay, so she already wants that. Uh, do I have furniture on me already? I do! Jingle lamp. No. Dug through my things back at home. I'm gonna give her the massage chair. I think I was originally intended to give this to either her or Shari. Anyway, I don't know why I always think about Molly or Shari. I guess they have similar looking houses color-wise, so I don't know. Pay you with bringing this to me. Okay. What do we get? What is Molly giving me? A toaster. What, am I, like, getting married or something like that? Okay, no, not really. But Molly, that's nice and good. It's all hunky-dory. It's great that... No, I don't mean... Okay. 
Molly, that is all hunky dory. I like that you want favors. I like that you like Toy Day and all that, though. But I want to know more about you. It's hard to tell how much gossip here is true. Isn't it? Before you go repeating a rumor, it's best to look into it yourself. Uh, I think that's applicable to stuff that's been going on lately in the gaming community. Specifically, Mighty Number Nine. Uh, let's see, biscuits. Uh, yeah, I will chat with you. I heard a really freaky rumor. Oh man, what is with all these rumors going on? Jingle apparently gives people the wrong present a lot of the time. You've really got to focus on exactly what you want. Anyway, between you and me, I asked Jingle for a good old toy this year. Okay, Biscuit, again! It's cool that I'm getting to hear what you want for Toy Day, but... Yeah, I got a representative from the Civic Leader. Everyone's saying that. I, I get you, but... You want to know what makes me tick? You're curious about where I live. Uh... Biscuit... I like you, but... No, I just... You're over all the time. I don't want to get this to get too repetitive. That was kind of my whole reason for doing this the way I did it. Made a snowman. Don't tell me. Okay, never mind. Biscuit is just being condescending to me today. He just keeps telling me, like, hey, build a snowman, make him look good, get stuff. Uh, Pietro! Maybe you'll have something interesting to say. I'm way excited to mail it. It's time to change my catchphrase. Uh, he wants me to change Hong Kong. I don't know how I can make this any better. Uh, let's see. This is all I can think of. Unicycle, just because it sounds funny. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping he would suggest a new public works project or something like that, because I really want to build a new one. Alright, time to see what we got from Cyrus. Whoa! Jeez, what is this? A freaking out of an Indiana Jones movie or something like that? Dude! He made this out of just three little gold nuggets that could fit in my hand? This guy is magical! Whatever tools he uses, I mean, you think he uses like a hammer or something? Man! Reese, you married a man's man! That guy's awesome, and hey, Croc! Ha! Huh, a clothesline pull. Hard to find item. Hard to find an item that isn't this nice in here. Pretty cool, don't you think? If you say so. I like how there's a space station floating next to this, and he's like, hard to find an item this nice. Uh, sure. Buy it. Ruin your lovely home. You and I think alike. All right, time to buy. Hey, I'm taking this one. Okay. I think I got a pretty decent deal today. I'm totally satisfied. He didn't say as if. Okay, that's the closest thing to a pleasant conversation I've had with Croc. I am determined that in some time that we have him, we will have a good conversation. And, I don't know. I want to have a decent conversation with the guy. I want to say that I at least like Croc, or at least I can have some fond memory of him aside from liking his carpet and wallpaper. <laughs> Alright, I think that's pretty much it, though. We got new furniture, we got all kinds of new stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this R-Wing right here. Because as much as I like the R-Wing, I think this right here is looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll try to make a gold room. I'm not really sure. I won't be able to get that many gold nuggets before uh, December 31st, unfortunately. But, you know, this is kind of a starting to look like a bit of a home slash nerdy place. You know, kind of like my place. Uh, I put Molly's toaster over here. Because I feel like this is like a kitchen slash icy room. Uh, I put the uh, snowman closet I got right here. Can't think of anything else I want to show. Uh, is there anything? Oh, right, upstairs. Duh. Especially because I said I was going to start sleeping upstairs because it was suggested to me. I love bubblegum KK. It's so upbeat. And it's just whenever you need to do something, you need something to listen to. It's just so good. All right, jingle room. Things are getting kind of cramped in here. I think I might pay off my home loan tomorrow or something like that. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, this jingle lamp, one thing I don't like is that some lamps have this cabinet thing on the front of them, and you press A to open the cabinet, but no, it's not a, it's not a, you know, like a cabinet of any kind. It's flat out just a lamp. Anyway. Yeah, things are kind of cramped, and you have to move this. Alright. With my epic battle scars that I put bandages over as a samurai, I have something I want to ask you guys. I've yet to see what sort of people you have suggested as guests, but... You know what I'd really, really like? I'd like to wear a clothing item made by you guys. I like changing around my ensemble each and every day, just like I always say I do. And if you guys could make me a hat of some kind, I'd like that. And I think I'll wear that for a good long while. Just because I've been so torn over what hats to wear, and, well, maybe if you guys made me a hat that I really, really liked, I'd hang on to it for a while. It'd be unique. Something only I had. Well, me and everyone else I hand the QR code out to in these videos. I think I'd like that a lot. So, through hashtag Checker Crossing on Twitter and Facebook, submit to me QR codes for hats that you have designed. I think that's pretty much it. See you guys tomorrow.